You guys, we filmed almost, ha where are we at in this episode? Well, like almost halfway we through. We filmed for half an hour. Mm -hmm. I don't know how far we are in the episode. And then the audio stopped working and I realized that it stopped working and it seemed as though we didn't get any of it or we may have, <sighs> but then Timmy may have accidentally deleted the folders. Long story short, it could be both of our faults, um, but we're redoing it again. So uh, the good thing about that is that you guys haven't heard our jokes yet, so we can say them again. <laughs> really? Like, it was your fault because the you weren't watching the audio, mm -hmm. but then I then I just took it. I just took it. What could have been it and deleted it. I put it in the trash, and a pop up window came up, and the pop up window said like. Put, putting like something in the trash, blah blah blah, and I was like, yeah, I put stuff in the trash all the time. Like, and you emptied it. And I just hit, I hit OK to the pop up box, but that pop up box normally comes up when then you go to empty the mm -hmm, trash. Mm -hmm. I just put something in the trash, mm -hmm. and this box popped up. Like that's never happened to anybody. Yeah, that was an unfortunate circumstance. But my point was that it, it started as your fault, and then it just 150 million percent was. My fault, which is I can accept that and I can move on. I feel better that it's half and half. However, we didn't confirm that that audio that was lost even had Let's anything Let's just pretend like it, it was all on there and then okay. we can split the blame. Okay. What we also have to discuss is that we got um, a monitor. Um, I might get, I oh know, I thought I would see myself times infinity. Okay. Look at us go, you guys. And took the advice of um, someone in the comments about, well, here's the monitor. Here's us. Um, saying to like switch something, some focus mode on the camera. Like, I'm not, I'm not like a, I don't really normally read the instructions. And I should. So I went through the thing and I found face mode. And Amazing. so now hopefully it'll keep us in focus and not the chair behind us. Amazing. Yes. That's great. I know people should know that just because you're a producer doesn't mean that you're a camera and like equipment guy. It's not I mean, all fact, one thing. Yes. I mean, I mean now more, more it is. But back then when I was a producer, it really was a whole different mm -hmm, thing. Like, mm -hmm. I remember my first day on the job. I like had no idea what I was going to do and Colin who was my boss at the time was like go with Phil to shoot an exterior shot of of Whitney's apartment building because we didn't shoot their real apartment building and Phil was the DP of the show he was like this old like dad and it was my first day in the like field Scottish ever. Scottish or Australian or British? No he That's was. Horrible. I shouldn't say all those things. Uh, I mean like I go ahead go ahead. Well, I don't even out. know what that meant. Mm -hmm. um, anyway uh, now we'll leave it in. And uh, I was like, yeah. He was like just getting a shot of the building. And I was like, why don't you try, like, come. He was like, don't, are you fucking kidding me? Like, don't tell me what to do. And I was like, yeah, why am I telling him what to do? I don't. I have no idea how any of that works. Here we go. Let's get out that packet that they sent us because I want to make sure I'm super prepared for everything. You're going to start getting really anal. So the cast. <laughs> what? I don't remember who said that. You're like, yeah. Like, this is a big job for me. Of course I want to know what's going on. Unveiled press launch. Each designer must show one look at this event. What do you think of my golden arches here? You don't have the arches. Yeah, they're... They're a version of the arches. They're more square. I forget. Do you want the arches or not? I don't want the arches. I want it coming down like this. I like it going out to the side a little bit. Interesting. Each designer must show one look at this event. So I'm sure there's probably going to be some really cool editors, some buyers. Yeah. I want to check out the designers. Lealia, oh, she went to Parsons School of Design. Fernando. What's your beef? What are you, what, what are you, what are you I'm just saying hurting like, yourself for there? Yeah, I'm saying how talented these other people are and how it's like competition for me. But... You're, you're upset because she went to uh, like a design school. Yes. I'm saying like that's a really good design school. Her stuff is going to be much cooler than right. mine. I think everyone can relate to putting themselves in that mm -hmm. position. But we shouldn't do that. No. we should. It should be a solo journey. We shouldn't compare ourselves to other people. Right. Or you should be like, fucking design that chick into a paper bag, which is an expression you use when you want to out-design someone. She worked at Vogue. Oof. Yikes. You worked at Teen Vogue. Good for you, Roxy. See, she's building you up. This is kind of exciting, though, for us, because it's the first time that, like, really, we're on our own. We just can't let Kelly down. My teeth are so white. 
come back. I think it'll help you kind of. Yeah, you look great. <sighs> but if you can do this on your own, I hope. I can do it. I can do it. There you go. Oh. Not Here's the music. music. Not the right music. I don't think. I oh, hope that A2 con joke will never <laughs> fucking have to be heard by anyone else. All right, here we go. Meeting and Joe's office. I'm not super into Olivia's like witch. No, you know outfit. what? I actually thought Erin had a better outfit. Mm, I didn't even check her out. So Olivia is wearing like a shift dress. A, I don't like a fish like net. A net. It's and not then a chains, printed. And then black leggings. Mm -hmm, black tights. And then she, Erin, is wearing a gladiator sandal. Mm hmm. A pencil skirt. Not, it's more like tulip y, yeah, like but it's like kind of pencil y. I can and see why you would say that. A boyfriend work shirt. Mm hmm. Fucking A, dude. Boyfriend work shirt, is that a real term? Um, I would say probably just like a collared button down. Fine. You don't um, have to bring gender into exactly. it. Exactly. It's a 2020. It's 2010, though. Oh. Doesn't it look like Erin is on the cover of a bunch of L's over there in yeah. the reflection? Yeah. kind of, I think it's maybe Jessica Simpson, though. Very fair. But no, same shirt. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh it's her shadow. Or a reflection. Don't say the wrong word, we're still recording and in focus. Don't you love when people go like this, they like pick up their papers and they, they like put it on the ground? It's time to organize this shit. Shuffle and... I want to cover this, I want to blow it out big. You know, it's only in New York City. It's a one-time event. And of course, if you're going to be at the party with Zach, what's the most important thing, Olivia? An interview with Zach, right? right. You want to be able to... <laughs> she was like, to, to be... the at the party with him. <laughs> yes. Interview. Just, I didn't know the answer to that. I didn't know the, what he was going to say. The, even what's the we most just important thing? It. Yeah, the first time we watched it, I was like, to, to, wear, to wear Zach Posen? So I, w I would have failed that fucking quiz. <laughs> like, just like Olivia failed the shit out of it here. She's the top of So you can get me that interview with Zach. Well, uh, you know, obviously I'm going to ask him from my personal relationship and see if he'll do it. All right. Well, let's do you think you can I get think Zach Posen? I know, I'm pretty positive I can get Zach to do this. Was that a yes or a no from Olivia there? Oh, that was a total, like, I'm not going to commit to giving you any expectation because I don't want to disappoint you. But also, I don't really want to ask him for a favor, and I don't really want to be doing this, and I don't want a job. just want to go to the party and air kiss. I know that was a joke that we had made in the other one, but it was good. That was a good, good time to, because she did her thing. Very she, yeah. You need to live. keep your job. That's really the bottom line of any of this. This girl, Louise, she's ambitious. She's strong. She wants to like take. Oh, it's hard. On a different, it's hard to work out. Like do a lot of cardio and then just sit still for a while afterwards. Like mm. my legs are super tight. Can mm -hmm. I sit like this? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Nobody can even see what you're doing. Are we still recording there? Yep. All right, let's move on. Yeah. Play it, play it, play it, play it, calf, calf, get the calf, get the calf. Let me just stretch it straight. I'm playing lefty. Ah, 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 Today, you guys will be figuring out your models. That's what today is for. But no one's sharing models, correct? Yes. Great. As you figure models. <laughs> wait, that, wait. That wait. actually wasn't clear. So no one's sharing models, correct? Yes. yes. means correct, meaning no one is sharing models. OK. We but I would have had confirm. to have definitely like, pulled someone aside and been like, so fucking. Can we or can we what's not? The, what's the other model's name? Erica? No. What model? Romina. Oh, like, the so designer. this <laughs> Romina gets it? <laughs> Maybe you need to say it again. The Unite Unveiled event tomorrow night. What if we both pick the same girl? You're going to have to work it out. <laughs> so they made it clear then. It's like you have to work it out if you pick the same girl. You have to fight for it. Hi, Whitney. Nice to meet you. Nice I'm Roxy. You. Hi. Hi. Did they already grab me for the look for tomorrow night? No, I haven't heard anything about that. So. All right, well, great. Then I'm officially booking you for the show and the party. Okay. So um, let's try you in this one. Thank you. Thanks. She's pretty awesome. 
So very clear. I love that look. It's like a sheer mm -hmm. button down blouse mm -hmm. that she wears with like no bra underneath. Mm. Ooh. And men's wear like velour style trousers. Oh, this looks so good on you. What? Romina. Yeah. No, no. Not cool, Romina. Hello. Ask me your name. Romina saw us casting her. Why is she trying on everything? I don't making know. Me really angry. Everything looks beautiful. Making Rexy really angry. Uh, let me see if I can try to work, work something out. Okay. Um, let's see what's going on because we need to make sure that we get Erica tomorrow night. Erica, can you come with me for a second? Thank you. We just want to make sure that we're going to be able to book you for this. Okay. And we keep seeing you trying on everyone's clothes. Yeah, she, I mean, the other designer was going to grab me talking about maybe sharing or something. I don't know. I don't okay. Know it's working out. Hey, I noticed she was trying on your stuff, but I know you're right before us, so it's probably not possible for us to share any models, right? Are you using her for your last look? Well, I was going to use her for my last look, and then I also wanted to reserve her for the cocktail party tomorrow night. And I know I saw her first, so I kind of yeah. have dibs on her. <laughs> nice. Go me. We will agree to... Yeah. <laughs> What's our problem? <laughs> to what? This bitch keeps stealing our models. Unresolved drama. What are we agreeing to? Yeah, we'll agree that I'll keep Erica and you'll pick someone else. Yeah. Romina. That I saw her first. Back in New York. I agree. I agree. Ugh, this is even worse. This music? Yeah. Yeah. Is the DVD music worse than the Amazon music? So this was starting to become a big thing at this time, these designer collaborations with these big, right, you know. Right, uh, Big box stores. Yeah, exactly. There's Spike. Oh my God, Spike. Spike Van Breezen. Uh, yes, first look at him looking super chic. Very handsome man. Yes. We need to get the interviews with Zach. Is there anything lined up or is it kind of just running gun here? It's totally renegade. Let me know how it's going. Alright. Alright, she's she's doing it. I wonder if Olivia did her own hair. She likes this style. Sure. Really quickly, and then I gotta go. Thank you. Oh hi! Oh my god, I didn't recognize you. You look great. You sensing the sexual tension between Olivia and Sebastian? <laughs> That plays out like real behind she's, the scenes. She's trying to show off for him. Uh huh. Zach Pez and it's my people. She's like, I know Sebastian will be impressed. Like he's like trying to play hard to get. Well, she's <laughs> like, I need to do another video so I can get into the editing room <laughs> where Sebastian and I kiss. Sebastian's cute. Sebastian is super hot. <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> oh, there's people! And, and Sebastian back here? Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, okay. What is this? Is this the microphone? Okay, yeah. I'm ready. Hi, oh, I'm in it, I'm in it! She's like, and I'm interviewing, hi. I'm here, and so is this guy. And we're gonna kiss. So nice to see you. Tell everyone a little bit about your line. Well, we did a line for Target 10 years in the making. How did you decide? 10 years in the It's not very efficient or. Are you still recording? Yes. Excellent. The pop. So after this, what are you, what are you thinking? We're doing Z-Spoke is a major part of my focus right now. Utilitarian chic. What What did he call it? Z-Spoke. Mm. So, to, so to be bespoke mm -hmm. is to be... Ugh, I, I know. I know what it means. Okay. Bespoke means like... Um, uh, uh, like tailored mm -hmm. and like personalized. So he's I doing hope that's his right. play on they that. Were, that would be embarrassing. Z spoke. I thought it was more of like his um, affordable line. I'm just telling you what the word bespoke means. Okay. In my, I'm hoping I'm right. You would think though that he would call it Z spoke by Z. Yeah, I think it was his more affordable stuff. Look up what bespoke. Okay, I'll look up what bespoke means. It's on the line. Made for a particular customer or user, um, a bespoke sp suit, making or selling bespoke goods, especially clothing. Taylor. Um, yeah, you were right. So he's making, but but why why would that word make sense with like a, a line f for more people? Z spoke. Yeah. Maybe it's for Generation Z. Is that his generation? No, Z is for Zach, 
And it's a play on bespoke. But he's playing, saying Z spoke. Because he's like, my shit is bespoke for you guys. Right, like he's it's gonna like, make it's a, it tailored it's a contradi- for well, You're saying it's a contradiction to have a line meant for a lot of people to be called anything that has to do with yeah. something like bespoke. It's like calling it unique and selling it to 100 people. <laughs> but I guess that's the marketing behind it. It's like, this is unique and I am gonna tailor it to you and you are gonna have something special and it's gonna be Z spoke, not B spoke. I think aside from the people who came up with this, we are the only two people to ever talk about it this much. I feel like Z spoke is something that a lot of people talk about in fashion industry not as much as we just did nobody does no awesome thank you so much Zach. thank you so much olivia this is why i hired you do that every time every single time bring it home all right those earrings she's wearing inspired me to get these earrings that i had that i have since lost oh sad sun 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 Miami Design District, Coco and Palenque. Boutique. So I thought we should stop by. Mm. That was a view. Selection. But this is really cute. We have got mm. to get your line in here. It would be perfect. Do you, like, have to get... The kind of store that I would see myself. I mean, looking at it now, it doesn't seem like a ideal spot for me, but... I think getting it into boutiques and places that are taste-making type spots are important for young designers. Okay, okay. It's not only was... about, it's not just like get into Barney's, it's like get into cool stores in, in bigger cities. Like these are the kind of lines that I could see myself definitely standing next to. I mean, Mara Hoffman's here, like right. Dan von Furstenberg. But now they're Allison building a vortex as well. Hey, Whitney, this is Pamela. Hi, and how are you? Hi, Whitney. Hey, Hi, Roxy. Hi, Roxy. Roxy. How are you? Nice to meet this you. This is you okay. want to talk to. Okay, cool. So are you guys going to the Jen Art Show? Or? Yes, and I think that's a, a great opportunity yes. to see you because I like to see things on models. That's yeah. usually how I buy. Okay, that's wonderful. Better on the body than yes. on a hanger always. You oh, know? definitely, yeah. We're also actually having the cocktail party tonight where we're having a model wear her clothes and walk around and stuff. So no, I mean, I was going anyway, so oh, I think that's great. Oh, that sounds good. Perfect. Let's go have some drinks, ladies. <laughs> You're trying to bring that joke back. I know. Oh, they seem like my type of women. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Now that you guys are definitely going to score with those two middle-aged trucks. She always has to say that shit. Dear friend. Yeah. Dear friend is an annoying thing to say. I think it's I've like said name it dropping, once. like, like in front of someone. Mm-hmm. It's like I just had to let everyone know that we're also friends. In addition to this business relationship you see playing out in front of you. And we're not only friends, but we're dear, dear friends. Dear friends, because in case you forgot, I can talk to a park bale. She got French at the end there. I've got 10 years in the making, 10 years of experience, how to make the best product in the world at the lowest price point. What are the price points? Target, $19. So after this... $19. Is his energy making you feel weird? <laughs> He's definitely on ecstasy. He's very easy spoke. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> He's definitely on ecstasy. Don't you think 100%? <laughs> He's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's called Z spoke. <laughs> All right. I think the thing is, she makes people feel very comfortable. Wait, I want you both to see. I don't really think that's something that Olivia like does as well. She made me feel uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. A certain crew, she does. Disco. <laughs> Oh, she's great. She's really comfortable. Yeah. Mad Max. I was wondering about the mohawk. I want to go and get a mohawk right now. Oh, she's funny. Not the, not the way you say it. He's like, are you noticing I'm talking? She's good. She's really good. I like her. Yeah, I yeah. thought like I was backstage with her exactly, at the show, yeah. and that's not an easy task. Could we have her come in and do more video for us and be our... Faceofl.com? No, I mean, I feel like everyone has, like, a skill set. Everyone has something that they're really good at. Olivia is a very capable, competent video person that should be doing it. And I have to say, she did get a suck. Oh, he's advocating for Olivia? I thought he was advocating for... Yeah, we watched Louise. the Louise one, and he was like, he was like, great, could we get on there? And then, um, and then they, he, he just switched and started talking about Olivia. Out of yeah, nowhere. that that was that was not just me, right? Like that was actually confusing. <laughs> no, yeah. Like, like, who's he writing for? I mean, is it one or the other, or could it be both? Oh, 
Okay. I would prefer both. <laughs> I don't think they need to have one person. There's room at L.com for two. Mm-hmm. Who are you standing next to? My model. She's the one that I booked for the party. Oh, to like come and be with you? Yeah, to like wear my outfit and right. be my news. <laughs> Oh my god, who's that guy? That guy is um, Kevin Pavs or Paves or Paves. He's a hairstylist. Is he on Longoria. other reality shows? He's no, Eva Longoria's. He, he was like a big hairstylist during this time. It's like crazy that I knew who that guy was. <laughs> I mean, I worked on the show. Bevkin? Oh, I remember her. Yes, very nice. Really nice. Look at the draping. I like. Mmm. Mmm. Look at the draping. You did it, babe. What's going on over there? Romina's cornering our people. I just heard that you guys also are carrying some clothing lines as well. She's good. This you guys got her involved with. You gotta step in. Go for what you want. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. She's so cute. So cute. Uh, <laughs> here we come, Lucy and Ethel, ready to <laughs> fuck your shit up. Let's get these women wasted. To send upon them. I'm really happy that you guys came and could actually see what we were doing. How many models do you have tomorrow? We have ten. Ten. Yes. Yeah, so we have ten. Really get a good feel of the whole collection. But then once tomorrow's over, I mean, if you guys are at all interested, we can get in touch with my showroom, and if if you're interested. You're like, we can make this happen right here. And you're like, it's like a drug deal. Just you're like intimidating them to do it. But she's playing hard to get. They she's, both were. We'll see you at the fashion the show. The blonde one is like down. Girly. So recording. Ooh, I go, what's the issue? God, she was in my safe shirt. So did they book any backup models? Yes. So where are they? Uh, that girl's nice, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I can't talk to her right now. I'm working. Oh, this girl was definitely like... A problem. She was tweaking on something. Ugh. Are these girls available right now as well? Yeah? Okay. So I need you to try something on real fast. What size boobs do you guys each have? Oh. Whitney, that you're is... just all business. Mm -hmm. What's your name? I'm not no. doing anything. <gasps> what was her problem? She was just so stressed out and didn't want to do. I can't talk to you. I can't talk to you right now. And ran in the other direction. This is ridiculous. They said there was going to be a rehearsal. Like, they said we were having sound do. problems. We what need to have our, our run through. Find Where it. are Marsha and Lauren? I remember the designers were all like in it together, and we were like, who who is producing this thing? Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Not good. Okay. I'm like, what the? I think there was like, wrong with you? I think there was something wrong with this girl. Like, oh. I can't remember exactly, but she's being super weird. Mm. I remember her being super weird. Mm. We need to know who's pushing. And she's like acting like. Talk to you and you run away. I don't know why you're smiling at me. It's like disrespectful because I'm just trying to figure out what's going on for her. You it's know. Okay. And don't worry. You know, we have this covered. We just want to know so that you know it's her baby. And We're it's our baby too. We love it. Yeah. We're gonna start in a few minutes. All right. Okay. So, are we clear on what's happening with us? Okay. No. Oh. Ooh. Marcia, stop. We can't what did she say? Our what? Marsha, stop. Kelly would have a freak out right now. I here. think Kelly would have pulled your stuff. Oh Ooh. Not done the show. Ooh. Oh. You look nervous. Yeah, I feel like I'm so nervous that it's going to be so bad and it's going to be a, a horrible reflection on me. I know. Because these girls didn't the stakes. seem like they knew what they were doing. House lights fade to black. Is everyone caged? No, 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 no. She's not getting those. You run away. Listen for your name. Listen for your name. Do you remember that guy, girl Kristen Flamio was my assistant at the time? Yeah. Smith. Oh, that was the designer. Mm. Doing this right now. What's your, you gotta get your hands dirty wet. Where's there any extra jewelry? Oh, that's Kristen Flamia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What book are you sick? Who's ready? All right, come here, babe. Nice, you called someone babe. Coco and Planky got front row seats. Where's Vanity? Here, Romina. 
I want to look up these designers yeah. and see where they're all up to now. I could see that shirt hanging on the racks of Coco and Palenque. <laughs> Music. All right. Something going on right here. Model standby. I'll tell you what to send her. Okay. Sweet. All right. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Can she pull it off? Wow. <laughs> that is some serious fashion. A little corset bra top. That would be in style now. So would this jacket. The pants are a little crazy. Bye. Party tops galore. So recording. How does it feel to see your clothes going down the runway? Some I love, some I think are crazy, I'll be honest. Okay, now, how do you feel right now? I feel proud. Good. Because it went off without an issue. Nobody knew. Mm -mm. And I'm wearing my favorite blazer from my collection. Yay! Sharon is happy. Yeah, Roxy she was. is happy. Yay. <laughs> You're like, oh, shucks. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really Love to know what um, Kelly Catron is doing right now. She just said I couldn't be there. I know. But Cut she to her like in bed, like <laughs> eating <laughs> ice, ice cream. <laughs> Here comes Louise Rove. Oh, Louise. Louise used to live in LA and she moved to back to London right before quarantine. Oh, you did? Great. I think you'll be perfect. I mean, Robbie and I were talking about how personable you are and... It's awkward. ...articulate and Thank you do your homework and you're reliable and on time. And I mean, it's just like, I can't... I love Olivia's outfit. Hi. I'm Louise. Olivia, nice to meet Lovely you. Lovely to meet you. You too. I've seen some of your videos actually, they're great. Oh, wonderful. Well, really welcome good. to Elle. I hear you're our newest addition. Yeah, I think so. It's great. exciting. I guess we'll be wonderful. working together a little bit. Great. Are you, you're based in London? I'm based in LA actually. Oh, okay. London before that. Whereabouts in London? Notting Hill. Okay. Do you know? I know it very well, yeah. Cool. Cool. It's very We're very we're going to the accessories closet now, if you want to come with me. Love to. Got the best bit of any magazine, right? <laughs> I know, we're very lucky here, but I can show you around a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Maybe oh. Lunch. One day or something. I love that, yeah. Oh. oh not working out as Interesting. <laughs> wow. I didn't even see that coming. No, Olivia really pulled a fast one there, and Aaron being like, I'm going to befriend her mm -hmm. and not fall into this competitive trap. That was big of her. She's an evil genius. I like that. Am I gonna let loose a little bit in Miami? Or like, what did we do this evening? I mean... Hi, Romina. Hi. How are you? Nice to see you. She's selling them right now. She is? It's almost like watercolor, I think. Yeah, yeah actually, my inspiration was Monet. Let me go see what's going on over there, see if they want to come look at our line. Ooh. You're like, let's do it. <laughs> hey guys. Hi. 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 Sorry, I'm not stepping in. How are you? Oh, sorry, not stepping in, but I am stepping in. What? Bold of you. you like, get out of here, Romina. Yeah. Give the best two for last. Oh, no question. Thank you. Well, if you want to have my collection over there, if you guys want to have a little bit. Did you have the white trousers here? Yes, I that was the nice yes, look. The, the white the trousers, velvet yeah. Green. They're incredible, right? I love so, that. I really thought your line also looked so different from everybody else's, very fresh. Oh, good. But it could sit really well with some of the lines we carry. Oh, my God. To bring you into our store. I think I landed it, y'all. Yes. So it means so much to me, seriously. So we'll see you. We'll be Yay. As long as you're not taking Romina. Because it can only be one of us. Oh, you're all by yourself? Oh, yeah. We did it! We did. We really did. Great right now. Set in Miami. Yeah, I mean, awesome. That's so awesome. And now we can fully go back to Kelly and tell her we conquered this, right? Yeah. And sold something. Good for you guys. That was awesome. Good job. Yeah, that was that seemed real and authentic, and I was really excited. Are you proud of yourself? Okay, good. Um, we should mention where where our relationship 
was. See, look at that picture. Oh my God, we're doing the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> well, our relationship was we really liked each other, but we couldn't do anything. But I came to your hotel room. I think I came to your hotel room because I remember I had a nicer room with the view and you didn't really have a very nice room and I came down to your room. What are the details about? But how I came down to your room to get help right. with my music. Right, but how does you having a nice room help you remember which room we went to? Just because you remember seeing I remember the room. room. I remember where we were sitting and I remember the room and I remember it being in your room. Right, so then how does you having a nice room have help that at I all? I remember it was different. <laughs> okay, that. there you go. You're like, okay. I remember two rooms, and one was shit, and one was nice. So it must have been in your room, because how else would I have known of a shit room? <laughs> okay. I think you were on like a, you were in like a basement. I still. No, I remember it was like a particularly. I'm not just being a bitch. Like I remember they put you like no, subfloor. I got a cot in the in the public laundry room. <laughs> Something like that. I had a fucking great room. I had a great room. I had a fucking balcony, <laughs> mini bar, balcony, Taco Bell, bar. unlimited. <laughs> Chicken fingers. <laughs> All right, so, but we were in love, yeah, just we not were. together yet. Mm -mm, mm -hmm. All right, you guys. Peace in the streets. Please like, please subscribe, ring the bell, and see you guys on Saturday. Is there anyone you want to shout out? Who comes to mind? You know, Aaron Howe actually wrote me a really nice message to hey at whitneyport.com about how she sees a little bit of herself in both of us and it was really sweet and it made my day. So even if I don't respond right away, just know that I am really reading everything and everything that you guys say. It, I know this sounds so cheesy and whatever, but you really do boost my confidence. It's true. And you make me appreciate things in our relationship that I don't just see or that I don't pay attention to. So That's true too. You're, it's having like holding a mirror to us and reflecting all the good stuff. Oh no, we still fucking like recording. Lady Gaga Wait, on. are you recording? Yeah, I am. Okay, pause for a sec. And Do you want to make Aaron Howe a... Um, a regular or an OG or a pillar of the community? She's all three of the above. Wow. Do you want to do merch? Yes. An artist actually also reached out to heyowhitneyport.com and she looks like an awesome graphic designer and she's done really cool work for like nylon and a bunch of cool designers and she wants to help us. She said she would just be happy to design the artwork for us. What? Amazing. Yeah, I, there's, you guys, I... I, for, I can't believe I forgot to tell you that one, but there's so much to constantly report to him on. Like, sometimes things slip through the cracks. What are you going to do? So, Aaron Howe, you're an OG regular. Uh, pillar. Pillar of the community. Merch is coming. We are we are taking strides. We are. I can't We're wait. We're this community forward. I think it should be instead of... Um, the just like copying the t-shirts I normally wear I think it should be all references to like you know regular pillar of the community all that shit mm -hmm. trickle raindrop like we'll get you know yeah I I We'll make I a have Jackie to B shirt. On it a we'll bit. make a Lynn. Maybe we can somehow put everyone's name make everyone's name so small into a picture. Of Lin Joe. Or not Lin Joe. That's Adam's <laughs> assistant. All right. We'll do good stuff. Yeah.